Noah Hammond. Noah, welcome. It's good to see you. Let's go through some stocks here in the time that we have. Uh, your picks, and you have three of them. Dutch Bros, uh, a name I'm familiar with because Josh Brown on the halftime report has picked this name. He loves it. Uh, it did get downgraded today at J.P. Morgan from overweight to neutral. Yes, yeah, we liked it. Great growth numbers. They had 50% revenue growth. They uh, opened up about 200, about 150 more stores, 370 stores to 538 stores from 2020 to 2021. 8% growth, a little over 8% growth in existing stores. And where they missed was on earnings, having some supply chain issues and challenges. We actually bought more that day. The stock dropped about 30%. And we've seen those shares actually almost double since acquiring them. So a little bit of a rocky road, but it's a growth company. It's a nice mid-cap stock that we believe is going to be a very successful large-cap stock. Yeah. Why is Marriott your hotel chain of choice? in terms of ownership, because that's the one you want to talk about. Year to date, it's up about 5%. Obviously, there's a lot of buzz about the space. Yeah, we, we own a few of these hotel stocks, part of our sort of reopening trade. And we do think Marriott is well poised, uh, especially not only domestically, but internationally. We've seen leisure travel start to pick up late last year. Now business travel, business conferences are opening up. I know you guys just had a few of the hotel CEOs on over the past few days, and they're all saying the same thing. They have price flexibility, they have high demand, they have very limited supply. And for an environment where people are used to hotel prices changing depending on the season and the environment, they're able to really take advantage of that even though they are also dealing with their own supply chain issues, their own labor cost increase. And it's one that's really bucked the trend. When you look this year, uh, Marriott International has actually been up while the, the S&P has been down. Um, and so we think that's gonna continue as the world, uh, not just just the U.S. continues to reopen. Last pick I want to talk about is a short that you have, actually, and it's it's Foot Locker. Why are you short it that is. name right now? So, you know, we've been short that one for a while and really on technical reasons only. Now, this is a stock that um, was very popular during the meme stock trade, if that's a, a way to describe it, up 150 percent during that time frame, the time frame roughly April 1st. Uh, of 2020 through December 1st of 2021. Uh, during that time, of course, the S&P grew as well, thanks in part to a lot of Fed easing. But I think that stock during that time frame was up 150. But you know, broaden the view out a little bit more. If you look at year to date, uh, Foot Locker has been down 25%. One year number down 47%, even over the course of the last five years down 40%. So it's just one from a technical perspective only. We've been short. When that trend starts to change, we'll cover it. Okay. I understand. No, I appreciate it. That's Noah Hammond Thank you, joining Scott. us.